way to the doctor's uh, doctor appointment, I have to do the three hour glucose test and then they're gonna sneak in my 28 week appointment um, like at the same time. So yes, I'm already dying of thirst. <laughs> um, so I'm really nervous how this test is gonna go. Um, super nervous. Like how I'm gonna feel, I guess, during it and everything. Um, if you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have to do, I, I did the one hour glucose test and then the three hour glucose test already during my first trimester. Um, my doctor just wanted to make sure um, if there was any early signs. We were, ooh, sorry, I know the lighting's gonna be weird. Um, we were like ahead of the game. So, the lighting is awful. Um, and those tests, I obviously didn't pass the one hour one, but the three hour one I did. Um, so we just went ahead and this time did a three hour, a three hour one instead. So... I'm probably gonna be a little early actually not probably I'm totally gonna be early so I figured I could just get parked and then update you guys a little bit on what's been going on I did sit down and film like a sit down video or I was just talking about it but I don't know we might include some clips of that video sorry for the bumps <laughs> Ugh, worst streets ever um, I might include some of the like footage from that video, but I don't think I'll just do the whole thing because a I think it was too long and I didn't really get I didn't really talk about my actual like pregnancy or anything. Obviously, I missed uploading pregnancy videos pretty much the entire time, the entire second trimester, um, and I'm sorry about that. So I went into more details on the reasons for that. Um, and then I, when I got done, I was like, I didn't really, this isn't really a pregnancy update, this is like a life update. So, I didn't know if you guys would be interested in like hearing all the details as to why, um, the whole month of June, <laughs> I didn't, um, do any pregnancy updates, basically. Um, <clears throat> it was just pretty much crazy chaos. I was sick twice. My husband had his gallbladder removed. Um, I've been back and forth to Houston a lot because my grandmother's been sick. Um, it, June was just a really, really crazy month. I was very happy to see it go. <laughs> and it feels good to be back into a normal routine, back at work. Um, everybody, knock on wood, these healthy. So, yeah, that's been nice. Nice to get back into a routine. Um, but everybody, yeah, oh, and we went on our baby moon at the beginning of June. We went to New Orleans and Destin, Florida, and we road tripped that. So that was really interesting being pregnant and road tripping. Um, a lot of bathroom breaks, so I really just don't suggest taking a road trip while you're pregnant. If you can help it, fly. Um, we wanted to do two different, like, destinations. Um, we wanted to do kind of, like, you know, make it a little bit more adventurous since we can't, I can't really do anything adventurous. Like, I can't go ride four-wheelers or horseback riding or ziplining or, you know, stuff like that that we would probably do on vacation. Um, so we were thinking if we switched it up and kind of broke the trip up a little bit, that might be fun and it was a lot of fun um it was a lot of fun but i was sick through pretty much the whole like the whole trip so uh june was just crazy y'all it was crazy but pregnancy wise um i overall i felt i felt fine um here lately i've been experiencing a little bit more swelling but that's just been in the past like couple of weeks um, actually, right before 4th of July weekend was when I started um, experiencing a little bit more swelling in my ankles and my feet. And that's only been, um, like, towards the end of the week. Like, by Thursday night, Friday is when I've been experiencing that. 
Um, and of course the heat is getting to me a little bit more um, than normal, but I'm trying to think of some other symptoms. Um, he, as far as other symptoms, um, I did go to the chiropractor last week um, uh, for lower back pain and my shoulder, which both, I broke my tailbone when I was younger, and then my right shoulder has been bothering me probably for about a year and a half or so, maybe, maybe just a year, probably a year and a half. So, um, so those aren't like new symptoms, but I was like, I need to go to the chiropractor. Um, and I heard it helps, especially while you're pregnant. So it was my first time going to the chiropractor, so I didn't feel any instant relief. Um, my back still hurts. Um, yeah, but I do plan to go back to do kind of like a follow-up and another adjustment. So hopefully that'll help. Um, but it was very interesting just going to the chiropractor in general because I've never been before. And then um, he's been kicking like crazy. I mean, like insane. The other day I was in a meeting at work and um, you know, I was sitting at a table and he kicked me so hard that like my my belly like hit the table. Like it was, I was kind of laughing, and he did it like several times. I was like, "Dude, calm down. I know I don't want to be here either." Like, um, but he totally kicks like crazy, and sometimes he'll. And I don't know which way he's facing right now. Um, so I don't know if it's a punch or a kick, but he will go straight down and get like my cervix, and that hurts really bad um those are probably the more painful ones just because that's obviously more sensitive area and then last night I was sitting there and I think he had stretched out and was like getting me kind of by my ribs a little bit it didn't it didn't hurt too much but it definitely was a different feeling and that's kind of I was thinking I was laying there I was like told my husband I was like I think he's like I think he stretched out and like up here you know um and because I could feel just like little kicks up there but um I don't know if he's big enough just yet for those to, for the rib ones to like really start hurting like you know like crazy so um in June like I was saying I was sick twice um I had I ended up getting like a like a viral infection so basically like a bad sinus infection um and then I ended up getting I think possibly a stomach bug um, it lasted less than 24 hours, thank gosh, but it was the week that my husband, we were in the hospital for three nights with my husband getting his gallbladder removed. Um, so at first I thought it was just like exha exhaustion because obviously I wasn't sleeping very well. We were at the hospital. I was taking care of him up and down. Um, um, so when I got up, that we, were, we went home Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday morning I woke up and <clears throat> had gotten sick and then just kind of continued throughout the day so again I thought at first it was like I wasn't eating enough I wasn't like I was just tired but then it continued all day and I couldn't keep anything down um, so I'm thinking Paul probably it was a stomach uh, like a stomach bug that I maybe caught while we were at the hospital so um, just being sick your immune system when you're pregnant is is not the greatest and I don't have the greatest immune system to begin with so it's just totally a catch-22 for me like uh or it's like a it's a it's a total like double whammy basically for me um but being sick is just like it's awful it's really when you're pregnant it's really awful um obviously you're just worried about the baby you're like and then I had to take time off of work and I didn't have like, I'm trying not to use any of my time, um, or, you know, very little of my time off, or very little of my time at work, because I need to save it for maternity leave, so then you're just like, crap, I need to get to work, and, you know, I need to hurry, but you just have to keep putting it in perspective that the baby, um, comes first, your health comes first, and rest is, like, the biggest, most important thing, um, and thankfully I do have really amazing, co-workers and a boss who understands what's going on um and you know he's just like get better you know just let me know keep me updated um and I do check my emails and work from home so if there's if you're in that kind of position you know just be open and honest with your boss about what's going on how you're feeling um and you know if you're saying 
if you're asked, you know, can I work from home or I'll be checking my emails throughout the day, you know, just be sure to do that. Don't take advantage of that situation um, if you're able to because it, it definitely comes in handy when you're in situations like this. So just my little advice, I guess. I'm starving, I'm thirsty. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess I'll go up here and check in and I'll try to vlog what I can. Um, we'll see, but I will definitely let you like, up, like let you guys know when I get done with, you know, what happened and everything. I don't want to do this. I just want to go eat. <laughs> oh, wish me luck. Always what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Okay, so I just have one more, um... One more blood work, like one more time to get my blood drawn Um, and so I decided to come down to the car for a little bit they gave me a little bit of water. Um, I'm supposed to just like sip on it really slow and just kind of like enough to kind of wet my mouth because it's super dry right now. It's really hard not to just drink this whole bottle of water. Like it looks so good and I'm so thirsty. I'm also starving. I'm ready. <laughs> like what am I going to have for lunch today? <laughs> I want something good aka probably really bad for you and yeah. Um... Uh, the appointment, the doc actual doctor's appointment went well. She found the heartbeat. He's measuring good. Um, I'm gonna from here on out. I'll be going every two weeks. Um, so that's kind of crazy. I can't. I cannot believe I'm in my third trimester. Like I still, my brain is not wrapping around that. The fact that it's really coming fast and furious. Like everything went by really fast. Um, Minus, like, the first month that went by really slow. Um, but everything else has been really fast, and now I'm just like, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, three months, you know, or less, just depending on, you know, and just think how fast a month flies by. I'm just freaking out. And all of August, I have two baby showers, um, one down here, uh, with with friends that I have down here and then um, one back home in Dallas with family and things like that so um, and then we have two classes a birthing class and a breastfeeding class and then I take my maternity pictures at the end of August so August is like slam packed with um, just baby stuff so it's already totally booked I don't have any really any weekends just to like relax so but I told my husband because I wanted to have September um, basically on lockdown um, I'm not gonna plan anything we're not going anywhere um, we're just gonna chill out and just take it easy and kind of wait for the baby to come because we don't know what's gonna happen so I'd rather just get everything else out of the way in August and then that way we have like I said September to you know chill out basically so I realized I didn't um, in the vlog earlier um, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe I promise you guys I will keep y'all up way more updated um, during the third trimester than I did during the second again I'm so sorry um, <clears throat> it was just crazy let me know if you like these type of update videos um, a little bit more I guess vlog style than just sit down chit chat I'll probably do a mixture depending on what's going on and you know what appointments I'm doing all that sort of thing um, yeah and let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see that's pregnancy related and I'll be sure to get that to you guys or get that up for you guys um, before the baby's here so yeah so I will see y'all guys next time bye